Hello. Afternoon. And welcome to Dumfries. Yeah, we're here on our staycation. This is our alternative to an abroad trip in May, isn't it? Mm -hmm. An area of Scotland that we've not been to before. Um, we've heard a lot about, a lot of good things about. So we thought, yeah, rather than going away to the sunshine, we'll uh, come here and have a, a check out and see what it's like. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I mean, so far the place that we're staying in is gorgeous, isn't mm. it? Really different, quirky. Uh, and we've got this lovely sunset here. We've come down to the coast. We're only about half a mile away. Yeah, this is about, a, I don't know, 15 minute walk from uh, from where we're staying. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to make this a bit of a, a highlights of Dumfries video, I think. We've got a few other things in mind, a few peaks and stuff like that, yeah. which we'll put out in separate videos, including that which the is the criffle. Um, yeah. So we're going to do that for a separate video and a few others, a few other bits and bobs. But yeah, yeah this will be a bit of a highlights of Dumfries. So hopefully there's going to be some exciting stuff. Uh, We've got some... lots planned, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Should yeah. be a good week. So stay tuned and we'll see what Dumfries and Galloway has to offer. Scotland.
this is the famous Brow Well in Brow Well. And this is where Robert Burns famously drank from to cure his ills in 1796. He had flying gout at the time. Mm -hmm. And sadly shortly after died, so I don't think I'll be drinking from it today. <laughs> Well, we've popped out today to Calaverock Castle, which is not far from where we're staying. Yeah, very impressive it is too. Yeah, mighty impressive. And dates back to about the 1300s, so lots of history here. I guess around the time of Robert the Bruce and All right. the battle for Scottish independence. So, as you can see, it's fairly well intact. Um, so I think we're going to pop inside and have a bit of a look around. Yeah, no visit to Scotland's complete without looking around the castle, is That's it? That's very true, very true indeed. Right, let's roll. Let's go. Well then, with the glorious weather continuing, yeah. we've popped over to Dalbiti to do a bit of uh, mountain biking in Dalbiti Forest. Yeah, we're on the Seven Stains Trails. Yep. So we're going to have a look at the Blue Route and see what that's got to offer. Nothing too crazy today. Not for me. <laughs> He's on the Black Trails. <laughs> right, let's get rolling. On, feel the burn. With a little bit of drizzle in the air for a change. Yeah, the sunshine's taking a short break today. Yeah, it's still not bad though. 
Uh, we've headed over to Lauriston, just outside Castle Douglas, to have a look at the red kite trail and yeah. watch some red kite feeding. Yeah, there's a feeding station here at Bellymac Farm. So we're going to have a little look at that and hopefully get to see them up close, which will be amazing. I love birds and birds of prey are just yeah. so impressive, aren't they? So let's hit the trail and see what we can find. Let's go. fresh back from the red kite trail and had a really nice time there didn't we yeah and come to the end of our week mm -hmm. in Dumfries it's, it's been, been a, a jam-packed week hasn't it it's been amazing I feel like we've fitted a lot in well we have I mean we've done so much a good mix of stuff as well um, between the, the whiskey distilleries yeah that was a lot um, of fun wasn't we it? did the Annandale one there's another one Bladnock is there yeah but a, a bit further down the coast from here mm -hmm. so but that the Annandale one was amazing didn't it was. realize the history there how new and old yeah. the whiskey is uh, owned by Johnny Walker yeah, and then one point, yeah. uh, abandoned by him and uh, yeah this couple have brought it back cost them 13 million to do it mm -hmm. it was a great, really great tour. really good afternoon yeah um, and the walks, you know, the coastal walks just out from the door here are fantastic. There's probably, I don't know, four miles of beach down there and you hardly see a person. No. I think we've seen about four people the whole time we've been down yeah, there. We've had it to ourselves and it's such an interesting landscape, mm -hmm. isn't it? I love it down there. It's been yeah, really it's lovely, nice to just disconnect and walk along the coast for miles, yeah. can't you? And the bigger peaks, <clears throat> the Criffle we did, which you've probably seen pictures of, is, is just over the coast that way, which was fantastic. The weather we had for that, that day was scorching. as well. Well, we've had great weather overall, really, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Um, and we did the Merrick as well, drove uh, a bit further out and did the Merrick, which is the uh, the biggest peak in southern Scotland, isn't it? Yeah, off in the Galloway Forest, so, which was amazing, stunningly beautiful. Um, I think we're going to put those two out, the Criffle and the Merrick, as separate videos, so keep an eye out for those. Yeah. Um, what else? There was Calaverock. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Calaverock Castle. <laughs> Probably not the castle. Um, yeah. Very impressive. Amazing. It's sort of uh, very. Uh, there was a lot still left yeah, there. Yeah. Very there? intact. Yeah. Lots of history there. Yeah. Um, and we popped over to Dalbeatty Forest to do some mountain biking, which was lovely. That was good. Nice it was, change, wasn't it? It was like 23 degrees and I was trying to go uphill. <laughs> uh, it was baking hot, wasn't it? I'm not a biker. Obviously, Pete is, but I really enjoyed it. It was good fun, it was wasn't good. it? Yeah, yeah good fun. Good. And then the Red Kite Trail today. We had a little bit of rain. Well, a bit of drizzle more than anything, wasn't it? Yeah, it, um, it's not been as good today, but it's brightened up again yeah. now and it's coming back for the weekend. The Red Kite Trail was amazing. It's so good to see them thriving mm. again. Yeah, near, um, near the verge of extinction at one point in this country. They I think, were, weren't they? yeah, and they've been reintroduced and they're doing really well in Dumfries now, which was just incredible to see mm, such majestic lovely. birds yeah. up close. We didn't see that many on the trail, but that feeding station that we went to was fabulous, Must wasn't have been it? about 50 up in yeah. the air, swooping and gliding yeah, down to get the meat. Wasn't it? amazing so yeah as Dumfries and Galloway goes if anyone's thinking of a trip here 
can highly recommend it. It's Thoroughly absolutely brilliant, it. isn't it? And the Bothy. Yeah. Uh, just being an incredible place to stay. Yeah, lovely uh, little place. It's so comfortable. Uh, it's just been fantastic. Really quiet it? little village it's set in as well in Rothwell. Yeah. Really nice to have a bit of peace and quiet. So I think we'll definitely be back here, won't we? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Mm. So big thumbs up for Dumfries and Galloway, it has mm. to be said. Absolutely. Uh, so I think we'll definitely be back at some point. But for now, this is us signing off from our week and a thoroughly enjoyable week it was. Yeah, enjoy our last so, night. Yeah, keep your eyes out for the Criffle and the Merrick videos and uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Ta-ta for now. Cheers. Cheers.